What's cracking, movie trivia showdown fans? It's your boy C Dub, and today we got a number one contenders match in the teams division. We got corruption with Mike Kalinowski and Chance Ellison taking on the founding fathers, John Roca and Dan Merle. The winners of this match will face the champion Shire Wolves for those belts. This should be a great match. The Fountain Fathers are a great team. They're legends of the game. But I gotta ride with corruption on this one. But without further ado, let's get started. Mike Kalinowski has tied the game. Sudden death, we go. Cruiser, Ninko. Ninka. See the inner Kito champion Rachel the Crusher Cushing. She will put that title on the line, and it will be against. And Yeah, I mean, they, the Founding Fathers have been like a heat-seeking missile on this revenge. They want it so bad going back up against corruption. And Christian, what's really interesting here is that you have legends of the game competing. You have Dan Merle, you have John Roca, and guess what, kids? They're on the same team. That's the Founding Fathers. But you look at a Kalinowski, you look at a Chance Ellison, maybe he is the X-Factor today, the youngest of the crew by at least 30 years. How is he going to perform today? Well, look, it's also, these are big, these are four superstars. You know, the fact that Chance Ellison came in here and he's, he's really, he did not have an easy road. His first singles match was against Ethan Irwin. His second team's match was against the Founding Fathers. I mean, there he, he's been in the muck already since he has started. But you look at what Dan Merle is doing right now as the champion. Dan Merle is on a run that we've never seen before. He is just on fire. And then you look, you couple him up with John Roca and what they did in Houston. Three and one right now. And Dan Merle has an automatic title shot. They didn't have to take this match. They could have went straight to the title match. They said, no, we want to try to get a redemption for what happened at Anarchy. And here we go. We have a grudge match, three and one. We know about the O'Russell gate. We know about the big thing that happened with David O'Russell and at the, 
there was this big challenge. There's an emotional post interview. These teams have a lot of smack talk, a lot of history already, and they're both anarchy teams. Do you think that it's a huge uh, notch in the the belt or the feather in the cap of the founding fathers because they were able to come together during a live event, like you brought up Houston? I think that that solidifies team chemistry in a way that you can't replicate in a, any other fashion. No, they're vibing for sure. I mean, they, they, they used to be big, they were rivals. You know, John Roca and Merle were two of the biggest rivals that we've ever seen in this league. They joined up. Now the, the foundation of the horse, but that's another thing to introduce here too, is that the last time they played, they didn't have a manager. They do have a manager in Tom Dagnino. Who the hell thought that would ever happen? Well, but that is exactly what happened. Now the founding fathers, part of the horsemen, and corruption with Grace Hancock and Ken Knapsack. This is a punch match. This is all about the winner will be fa facing the champions in the next match. It is the Founding Fathers versus Corruption. Before we get to the pre-interviews, we here at the Movie Trivia Schmodown, very excited to announce a new partnership with Skilly World Woo! App. Woo! Follow them on social media at Skilly World. This is a trivia app. They do daily trivia tournaments, and this Wednesday, July 17th at 9.30 p.m., they're going to have a movie mastermind tournament. You heard me right, Schmodown fans. A movie mastermind tournament, Christian. I think that our ilk would fare very well in the Skilly World app, particularly the movie mastermind tournament. It made absolute sense for this partnership because this is perfect for you guys. Trivia. It's just true or false questions. That's it. That's true. Sign up, get on over there, and do it. Yeah, you download the Skilly World app. You can do it on the, the Apple the App Store. You can go to their website, skillyworld.com. You're going to win big money up to $3,000. Three grand, three thousand dollars. I know that's true. Wow, our competitors like, excuse me. Yeah, that's uh, John Roca has left the building. Yeah. No, he's backstage again. Once again, Skilly World app. It is the movie mastermind challenge. You can follow them on social media at Skilly World, SkillyWorld.com. Christian, I feel good about uh, Skilly World. I feel good about our fans competing in that, and I feel good about Corruption versus Founding Fathers. But I'm sure one of them's going to let me down in the pre-interview. Well, here we go. Together. Because that means we're running scared. Because that means we're afraid of them. We're not afraid of them. 
We're going to give corruption everything we got. We're going to take everything they got. But we don't run from anybody. We are the founding fathers. And there's nothing founding fathers want and do better than a fight. And today is going to be a fight. there my friend you have the teams just talking a lot of smack grace hancock taking shots at the founding fathers the founding fathers taking shots at corruption it is just a back and forth thing the question though that i think very similar to what andrew guy does to his opponents i believe you know, I, be I believe roca is inside of chance ellison's head i truly believe that i think that he gets that kid riled up more than anyone that i've seen so far i saw them going to toe to toe at a bar in houston after the match and it, really it, chance was rattled Chance was a little round. Like a movie trivia brawl? Uh, no, no, they were just talking smack. Wow, okay. Yeah. Well, does Chance wear his sunglasses out to After Hours establishment? He does. That's a real movie trivia competitor, kids. Christian, this thing's going to get hot. It's yeah. going to get loud. It's probably going to get controversial, and uh, that's why you got mom and dad on the announcer desk. All right, Mark, here's a little bit of the tale of the tape. What happened to your computer? Uh, someone stole it. And then we have the first you start with, the Founding Fathers. That's right, Dan Merle and John Rook, obviously biopics, Spielberg, and a lot of titles in between them. And Roca has, uh, I'm not going to say that. All right, fine, age. And then, oh, right, oh, that's, I didn't write it in the you notes. Said good someone, at someone, someone wrote it in the notes. You just said good at cowboy someone hats? Wrote, someone wrote it in the notes. I think it was Chantel's. The only competitor that has spurs on his boot? Right. And then you have... Have corruption. They have comic book movies, movies in the 2000s. And see, look, someone also wrote this. Uh, apparently, Chance brought his rattle. Okay, that's. I don't know who wrote that. I don't know. Who wrote uh, he's a little kid. Roka, yeah. very old. Yeah, I don't man. Know. Corruption, not strong spellers. Yeah. I don't know who wrote that. All right. Anyway, so that's that is the tale of the tape, Mark. You ready to get going? Uh, yeah, I feel great. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Introducing first, representing the Five Horsemen, led to the ring by their manager, Tom Dagnino, and Mark Yoni Riley, with a record of three wins, one defeat, and three knockouts. They are the Outlaw John Roca and the reigning movie trivia showdown champion of the world, Dan Morrow, the founding father. There's Andrew Dagnino and Mark Yoni Riley. Always great to see a showdown legend. And there is John Roca holding up the five yeah. smile. And Morrow got his belt, got his Florida State hat. Both members of the founding father's yeah. Florida State alum. Now, what we're missing here is Ben Bateman. Ben Bateman out of town. Out of town, could not be here for his brother in here, but Ben Bateman out of town. Uh, John Roca screaming at Sam Levine. You know, that, that rivalry still has it. Sam Levine conducting business on his television. <laughs> and there. <laughs> and their opponents. Representing. Corruption, with a record of three wins, one defeat, and two knockouts. They are the 2018 Ultimate Schmodown semi-finalists. Led to the ring by Ken Napsok and Grace Hancock. The Cobra, Chance Ellison, and the former Inner Geekdom Movie Trivia Showdown Champion, Mike the Killer Kalinowski. Thank you. 
Like Sean Elsky going to help himself to a chair. Chance is already sat down. Yeah. Dan Merle considering it. Merle kind of looking at it. From, Merle is a foul. Merle is, is he going to sit down? As you wish, you want to play your game. Yeah. All, All right. right, team chemistry off the charts. All right. All right, Mark. The competitors have said that. You can feel the tension in the air here. Number one contender match winners play the champions. Round number one, how's that go? You may sit or stand for all rounds of this match. In round number one, the field is going to hear eight questions from eight different corners of the movie. Trivia, Schmodown, Galaxy. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There's no stealing in round number one. This is the team format, but it is an individual exercise in round number one. It is all about what's in between your ears as far as garnering the answer. You may not rely on the strength of your teammate for answers in round number one. As soon as we ask the question, you have about 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer. Keep your eyes on your own whiteboard. When we ask you by name to reveal your answer, please show the whiteboard to the camera. At the same time, you verbalize your attempt at an answer into the microphone. Each team has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. You're not sure you heard a question correctly, you want to buy yourself another 15 seconds, use the JTE rule. You also each as a team have one challenge that I'm sure will be used by John Rocco within the first question. All right. Well, here we go. So we start with corruption. Are you guys ready to play? We're ready. Let's get it. Founding Fathers ready to go. Always ready. Oh, yeah. Then let's get ready to shoot! <laughs> Feel the tension in the room. All right, here we go, guys. Question number one in the realm of action adventure. Action adventure. What is the full name of Michael Bean's character in The Terminator? Either first and last. First and last. I don't know what, you know, if we're working with the middle yes. initial. Correct. It's not Jordan. Kyle Reese. I was going to say J is in like a five. J Fox. Four. Three. I was big in the 80s. Two. It was. One. Repeat the question. Okay. What is the full name? of Michael Bean's character in The Terminator. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, and we start with Mike Kalinowski. Kyle Reese. Yes. And my, John didn't have it? Nope. Chance. Kyle Reese. Yes. It took me a second, but I remembered it. Kyle Reese. had it. Okay, 2 Kyle one. Reese. Corruption going up by one here. Two He's one. a Terminator, also a big fan of peanut butter candy. Your next yeah. question. In the world of animated movies, movies drawn by hand or on a computer, your question, Governor Ratcliffe is a villain from what Disney film? always tough getting that first, you gotta yeah. get that first question. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, John. Ratatouille? Uh, no, uh, Chance. Pocahontas. Yes, Dan. Pocahontas. And Mike. Pocahontas. Yes. So, all right. Going up by two here. Rope is off to a rough start trying to get this picked that up. we taking place three. in my hometown of Jamestown, Virginia. Dramas is the next question. Dramas. Who plays single mother Josie? In 2005's North Country. So Jamestown and Williamsburg sometimes get confused. Jamestown's a little outside of Williamsburg. Right. Colonial Williamsburg is where I grew up, near Bush Gardens, the Budweiser Brewery. Then you go out to historic Jamestown, Five, which is where Pocahontas four, took place. Three. And then if you want to go to Yorktown, you can see a lot of revolution. Charlize Theron? Pens down, Sorry. please. And Chance. I know Julie Roberts. No, Dan. Charlize Theron. Yes, Mike. Yeah. Charlize Theron. Yep, and John. Charlize Theron. Okay, so corruption coming back. Or excuse me, Fanny Father's coming back by one. I think that's here. a big answer for Roca, too, just yes. to get on the board, Absolutely. just to start contributing. And so now it seems like we're full steam ahead as we get into your fourth question in round number one. We're at the halfway point with directors. And your question is, who directed 2018's Bumblebee? John. Remember uh, you and I in the theater at Bumblebee um, the first five minutes of that movie? Just the edge of our seat. Losing our minds. Great movie. Underrated. Explosion Knight. of nerdgasm. Five. What the heck is his name? Knight. Travis Knight. Travis Knight. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. Pens down. We start with Dan Merle. Travis Knight? Yes. Travis Knight. Yes, it is. Travis Knight. And Chance. Travis Knight. I try to draw the Nike symbol. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Okay. Seven, All right. seven, six. But both Mike Kalinowski and Dan Merle have not missed yet. Okay. Swoosh. Harder to draw than one would think. Next question is fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Matthew McConaughey and Christian Bale star in what 2000s film oh, where the God. Earth is overrun with dragons? All right. Oh, shit. What the hell's the name of that? You locked in an elevator for five hours yeah. with either McConaughey Freak. or Bale. Who are you taking? Green. McConaughey does not shower. Five, I have my record. Does not bathe. Four. Three. Has not bathed in years. Two. Bale. One. Rain of Pens fire. Down, please. And Kalinowski. Rain of fire. Rain of fire is correct. John. Got it. Rain of fire. Yes. Chance. Rain of fire. And Dan. Rain of fire. Look at that. Nice. Right, see, that's what we're talking about. Now we got a lot of momentum going yeah, forward is. with both Corruption and Founding Fathers yep. here. Next question comes from the world of comedies. Let's hear it, crowd. Oh, yeah. oh, that's cheer. good. It's cheering up. Brody okay. laughs. No. Question is, in the film Mean Girls, what day of the week are the plastics required to wear pink? Shit. <laughs> well, we broke the L off. <laughs> Seven days in a week. You know our uh, our good friend Adam. Five. Logan. Fridays. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down, please. John Roca. I don't know. Friday. No. Chance. Wednesday. Yes. Dan. Wednesday. And yes. I totally knew that. Oh, and Wednesday. Kalinowski <laughs> got it. Eleven nine. Two points up. Our corruption. And like once again, Kalinowski and Dan have not missed yet. Question is horror thriller for question seven. Mm. Horror thriller. What horror film features a mother and son who are haunted by a creature that they first see in a creepy picture book? I feel like that's more than one horror. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like there's a bevy of horror. Yeah. You go to your local red box, you're going to find a lot of that. Five, box. four, all right. All right. three. The rain. The ring. Two. One. Pens down, please. And we go with Chance. The Babadook? Yes. And Dan. The Babadook. Yes. <laughs> the Tom. Babadook. Yes. There you go, baby. And. This is a good act. And what do you uh, got? No. I didn't have it. Okay, oh, so. Yes, good. I don't have to make a big deal of it. Corruption. 13, Founding Fathers 10, and the last question here, last question here, we have both Kalinowski and Dan not missing yet. Here we go. All right, your last question oh, in oh, don't miss it. round number one comes from the world of crime movies. Crime movies. Crime movies. Crime, crime, movies. Movies. crime Question. Movie. Yes, crime. Oh, crime. I couldn't hear you over my partner. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hear the category again, it's a JTE rule. <laughs> Which actor plays an ambitious cop named Avery who must deal with department corruption in The Place Beyond the Pines? A movie that you just would not shut it's up. A great movie. movie. Great movie. Walked out of it, accosting people on the street wanting to talk about it. Why'd you do that? Five, four, Chris three, Pine. two, one. Pens down. We start with Dan. I don't think it's him. It's Ryan Gosling. That's incorrect. And Kalinowski? Bradley Cooper? Correct. Oh, for Kalinowski. <laughs> Bradley Cooper. Roca got it also. And Chance. No theatrics. Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. So <laughs> corruption going up by four. Mike Kalinowski has a chance to have them go up by five. If he gets this correct, he has a perfect round so far. Here's the bonus question for Mike Kalinowski, who's having a hell of a game here. This is just Mike, for Mike. Just Mike, for you. you don't need to write it down. Just give your best answer when you're ready. Here you go, Mike. This 2004 comedy film had the tagline, a romantic comedy with zombies. Zombie land. Oh, wait, no, no, no. No, it's not zombie land. I think he's doing the thing. Five, four. Shot of the Dead. For oh, one more there point. We go. <laughs> there we go. Right, Mike well, Kalinowski now is 16. He's starting to get into Roka's head. That is a uh, perfect game. So Roka is in Chance's head, but now Kalinowski's in Roka's head. Can Dan get inside? We just have like a four-way inception. Oh, right. Now, when you look at the end of round number one here, Christian, both teams playing well. It's just that the Founding Fathers, 11 points, nothing to sneeze at, but you have a perfect game yeah. with Mike Kalinowski and then Chance contributing as well. 16 to 11, and the Founding Fathers are looking up at corruption. See, I think that, like I said, though, I think Roca, Roca's just a little shook. Roca, Roca's got to get back on his game. And uh, one spin of the wheel in round number two can change everything. Round number two is, of course, known as the wheel round, the wheel of fate, doom, and justice. You will see that our wheel, that wheel is a sponsored wheel, and we want to
thank our Schmodown patron, Jake Burnham. How about a hand for Jake Burnham? Yeah. Sponsoring the entire wheel. Thank you so much for your support, Jake. Check out the movie trivia Schmodown Patreon. Select which tier is right for you. Jake sponsored wheel slices are Kurt Russell and Crime. Once again, Crime Movies rearing its ugly head. So you each get a spin at the wheel. You are going to have a category once we settle on. That could be opponent's choice, could be spinner's choice, could be one of those categories you see up there. You each... Each team gets six questions from said category. Each question is worth two points. There is no penalty for missing a question. However, there is multiple choice available. So if you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. Keep in mind, team stealing is available in round number two. And in round number two, the teammates may rely on each other for each and every question. All right, so founding fathers have used one repeat the question. Corruption has all three left. And both have their challenges left as we get to round number two. Corruption, you are up by five here. Would you like to go first or second? We're going to spin first. going to spin first. Again. All right, Kalinowski. Wheel and not get a bag, my friend. And here is the former IG champ. Going to go spin. Playing a hell of a game here there, Mark, so far. Mike Kalinowski, a perfect game. And yeah. he... Uh, so, somewhat of a round of applause from the crowd. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's how do you not respect who they're that? rooting for? But how do you not respect that first round? Nine points. In the Mike first Kownowski round. looking like the uh, good-looking leader of a biker gang. <laughs> Uh-oh. Maybe this not, not, might not be good. It's going to be opponent's choice, Christian. Oh, oh my God. Oh, and it's James oh, Bond. Oh, God. And yeah. you know James is clapping wow. because Mike Kownowski, he may wow. continue to have a perfect game because he knows his wow. Jimmy Bond through and through. Luck is shining on Mike Kalinowski right now. Look at this. So we have... We got six questions in the realm of James Bond, gentlemen, and we start with this. Which Roger Moore Bond film has a villain named Kananga? Live and Let Die. For two points. Okay, that's correct. Here's the next question. Which alternate rock band... Alternative. What, I said alternate? Sorry. Yes. So, which alternative rock band performed the title song in... The world is not enough. Is it garbage? Correct. For two more points, Mike Kalinowski. Four points. Perfect through two Bond questions. Next question. Which actress plays Madeline Swan in Spectre? Leah Sadu. Two more points. Mike Kalinowski showing that he knows his bond once again. Feel free to answer at any time, Chance. <laughs> right, actually, was, I do. He got yeah. that one. Next question. Bond girl, Kara Milvoy, plays what classical music instrument in The Living Daylights? Woo. Tough one. I don't know any of this. That's good. Uh, I don't know a damn question. A violin. I don't know anything about this. Cello. Correct. Uh, Chance takes the wow. challenge head on. Man. It's the... Instrument from a Dalton Bond movie. Two more questions here for Corruption. Which character in the Bond franchise has been played by actors Bernard Lee and Robert Brown? M. Correct for two more points. And just the letter. It's also wow. the correct answer. Christian, just the, I'm looking at the scoreboard. I just want to make sure I'm seeing the same one you are. It is a 15-point advantage. Right now, and we're not even done with round number two for corruption. Now, here's your last question in Bond, ladies. Uh, ladies. There's ladies in the audience. It works. There's, there's female managers <laughs> yeah. present. Here is your next question, your sixth question. In Live and Let Die, Jane Seymour plays a Bond girl who shares her name with a type of card game. What's her name? Solitaire. Two more points. Wow. That was a hell of a round. Perfect round for corruption. And Johnny Fathers can't help but oh, yeah. wow. What do you do? That's, That's great. That was impressive. But you look at this now. The Founding Fathers find themselves in a position they usually put other teams in. They're in knockout range. They're losing by 17. They've got to have a great round here. So we're going to have the, the the champion, I believe, is going to spin. Or is not, the champion yep. will spin. Let's, let's get a shot. Let's All do right. it, baby. So, so it's a they, maximum of yeah. 12 points you can get. They need so something if, big. if they throw a perfect game here, yeah. they could cut the lead to five points right. for corruption. But here's the danger, Christian. You can go ahead and spin. I, I'm just going to wax philosophic yeah. here for a sec. Is that if it happens to be, let's say the dreaded opponent's choice comes up, here. if corruption gets some steals, there could be a knockout. It, which would be uh, uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Nobody would see that coming. Round and round it goes. And opponent's choice lurking. Mm, no. 
And Christian is not good. Is it going to be romance? Romance. romance. Do you want to go with romance or spin again? I know it's risky, but we got to we spend a lot of time. They're going to spin again. So he's well, that, that's why he's the champion. He strategizes. Oh, he's right. doing a big spin here. So now my mind immediately goes to what is their weakness. So the it's it's whatever on its choice. Yeah. What is Crushing going to saddle with? They but there are a lot of strengths out there for Founding Fathers. They need something big here because no one would have seen you. You would have told me that there would be this many points deficit. 17 points. Unbelievable. That's, that's a huge deficit. So here they're going to. Come on. And come on. What they uh -oh. fear oh. oh. has happened. Oh. 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 They took a risk. It didn't pan out. Wow. So now they might be the nail in the coffin. Favorite, Chance and Mike talking it over. Everything is just And going Mike's going to walk up and set the wheel. What's he doing? Romance. It's game romance. Because well, I think that because when Dan said that, so I mean, that's right. From it. We had to go for the home run. You got to yeah, take the yeah, risk. Yeah. You know? All right. So that game of romance. Four men on the table who hate romance. <laughs> <laughs> Two are going to have to answer right. six right. questions from that genre of movies. Gentlemen, your first of six questions in the wheel slice known as romance. Who stars alongside Donald Gleason as the girl he travels through time over and over again to woo in About Time? Rachel McAdams. Two, Two points. points. <laughs> it's big. 28-13. And they're on the board, building yep. some momentum. Your next question. Who plays bad boy Patrick Verona, who is hired to go on a date with Kat Stratford? R.I.P. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Two more points. Family Father's crawling back here. Crawling back, trying to get out of knockout range here. Your next question. In The Great Gatsby, and we can go either version here. Go Bob Redford, DiCaprio, however you want to do it. What does Gatsby stare at every night to remind himself of how close Daisy is? The green light. He got it. That's right. The green light at the end of the dock. And so now they need a couple more questions answered just to feel safe yeah. to avoid a knockout. Yep. And your fourth question in the world of romance movies. You're perfect so far. Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn play married lawyers at odds in the courtroom in what film? Five, four, uh, three. Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are, is it A, State of the Union, B, Desk Set, C, Adam's Rib, D, State Woman of the State of the year. Union. Adam's Rib? Give him a point. One more point. Look at that. So now they're ten points behind with two questions left. Three questions left, right? Uh, two, two questions, questions left. left. Two questions yes. left. Your penultimate question. In the world of romance, what country music artist plays Brad's brother, Dallas? In four Christmases. Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw. Two more points. All right, Roka. He's wearing the Tim McGraw style hat, so here we go. Unfairly vilified movie, I would say. <laughs> Your last question in the world of romance movies. If you get this right off the bat, you're going to pull to within six points of corruption and their lead. Richard Gere is training to become an officer in the military in what military branch in 1982's Navy? An Officer and a gentleman. I think it's the... I don't know. It's the Navy. Pretty sure it's the Navy. Navy. Five. The Marines? That is incorrect for a two-point deal. Can corruption come up with the branch? The Navy? Two points. Wow. Wow. Oh, there we go. wow. What a steal. That is now ten points as opposed to six going into the third round. Almost... Knocking out the Founding Fathers there. Ten points. So the Founding Fathers. The Navy. The Founding Fathers need to hit all three of their three-pointers. And all four branches. In the, the Founding Fathers need to hit all three of their questions in the third round just to stay in the game. Just to the force the hand of corruption. Wow. They couldn't come up with Navy, the school that produced legendary wow. athletes like David Robinson and Roger Staubach. All right, so here is the third round here. Mark, how does it go? In round number three, each team is going to give us a series of numbers. These numbers can range from 1 to 20. Each number corresponds to a different category of movie trivia schmodown know-how. The first question here is worth two points. Next one's three points. Last one's worth five points because this is the team format. Once we give the team your category for your two-point question, the team will have to decide which member of the team is going to answer that question solo. You may not rely on your partner's knowledge for the two-pointer or the three-pointer, which will be answered by the other team member. You may only collaborate on the five-point question. 
So corruption, you are enjoying a sizable 10 point advantage. What three numbers from one to 20 feel luckiest? Two, 14, and 17. Two, 14, and 17 for corruption and for the founding fathers. Uh, six, eight, and 20. Six, eight, and 20 for the founding fathers who will go first here with question number six. Question number six, we start with Angelina Jolie Films. Who will take the two-pointer from you guys? I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, now remember, if the Founding Fathers miss one question, All on the, line the here. game is over. Here is the question, Dan. Name the Angelina Jolie movie from the plot synopsis. Hmm. A CIA agent Salt. goes on the run after a defector Salt. accuses her of being a Russian spy. Salt. Salt. Correct for two points. <laughs> All right. All right. So they are on the board They're here the in board. round number three. But uh, Christian, the, the pressure only gets hotter for them is now they have to answer their three-point question. They selected category number eight. It's on John Roca here to stay in the game with his three-pointer. John, you chose eight famous actors and actresses. Here is your three-pointer. All right. Kristen Stewart. Please, Jodie Foster's daughter. Boiler room. Which film? Boiler room. Panic room. Three points. Oh. All right. So now they're competing. They're competing. So in order, in order to stay in the game here, they need to collectively come up with their five pointer. And here is the five pointer. It is sports films. Sports films. Here's your five pointer, gentlemen. All right. Here we go. All right. In The Wrestler, where does Randy A grocery work store. when he is not fighting in the ring? Uh, grocery store. Grocery store. At a deli? In the grocery store? That is correct. Wow. Correct. So now the <laughs> founding wow. beat us. The founding they have fathers, to beat us. That's right. John said it. They have to beat him there, too. So it is tie game. So corruption has to get one question right in order to make the title match. If they miss all three, we go to sudden death, but they just have to hit one question and they will challenge for the championship. All That's right. right. I mean, what, a, what a performance here in round three, anyway, from Founding Fathers to, to make us at least give us some sort of suspense and, and thrills and drama. Uh, corruption, now you do have to answer questions. Um, you selected number two for your two-point question, and that corresponds to a, I've never heard of this, Actor, I guess, Tom Hanks is his name. Yeah. Um, so, between Mike Kalinowski or Chance Ellison, who would like to answer the two-pointer solo on the work of Mr. Hanks? I'll take it. Mike Kalinowski is going to take it. And your question. Tom Hanks has portrayed Harvard symbologist Robert Langdon in how many films? Three. 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 Guess what a good game. Three. Paycheck, but my God, corruption! You talk about getting all the breaks, but also knowing the most about movie trivia in a variety of categories. And I'm glad you said that because Mike Kalinowski just proved he's not just an inner geek. He's player. not just a dork. He didn't miss one question. He had a perfect. Is that true? He got all of his bond questions right. He got his two pointer right, and he got every question right in the first round. That's the best Mike Kalinowski has ever played in the singles. That is dangerous. If Mike Kalinowski can show up like that in singles and in teams and in the inner geekdom, I mean, you're looking at a different kind of competitor. Right? Yeah, I mean, he they, they, they spun James Bond and knocked it out of the park. Credit the founding fathers for yeah. doing something with romance, but that steal at the end of round number two really penalized them. I mean, that's a four-point swing, and then yeah. it's a tough wound to lick going into round number three. So a well-played trivia match, as we expected here today, yeah. but the corruption with a, a well-earned and decisive win. You couldn't be more right there when you said that's, that that steal was everything. Because yeah. even if, you know, because if they hit that and they're only down six, 
they had all very three of those questions. Story. It's a yep. very different story that yep. they might have. Who knows what that three and that five would have been like for corruption? Mm -hmm. But man, the founding father, and you can tell John Roca. John Roca's a bit bummed. He had a bit. He, look, we have rough games. It's John, a tough loss. John that, had a rough game. That's why you love this league. Is yeah. that is that the, the competitors care about the wins? They yep. care about the losses. Yep. They enjoy the victories. They suffer through the L's. And we're going to hear from both the winner and the loser right now. We had an exclusive post-game interview with our own Jen Sturger. Oh, well, you um, win by the wheel and you die by the wheel. Yeah. Is that right, Dan? That's absolutely right. I have a, I have a question. I asked Christian. He didn't know before we did this interview. I have a, a task for Frank, which is how many times has one person spun opponent's choice? Because I think I might hold that record, too. Uh, but that's not to take away from their performance. Uh, Mike had, a, I think, a perfect uh, a perfect game. He did. He had a that's perfect game. It's not easy to do. There's not many people that have done that. And look, that's hard to come, like, combat. You know, like, you had one in New York. I mean, and Ethan played a great game. And it was just like, there's just nothing you can do except be perfect as well. And so it was just... It was just his day, I guess, is what it comes down to. Sometimes it's your day, sometimes it's night. Uh, we ran into a buzzsaw there. Uh, you know, what's good for the goose is not always good for the gander. Um, Kalinowski was fantastic. Can't take anything away from that guy. I don't know what Chance did, but Kalinowski <laughs> was fantastic. Um, when you, when you, you know, he rolled Bond, and Dan knew all those bond questions as well so if he slipped up i we saw you i saw you like oh you were ready for the steal you guys were ready was, for those uh, steals and it's just the miss. opportunity didn't come up yeah i knew he wasn't gonna miss him but there was uh i think all but one or two of them i was sitting there just like i hope i hope like there's an uh, like the lights go out or there's like a freaky friday situation and he forgets everything right now because <laughs> like i could maybe pick up what is it well, you're not gonna miss that because that's that's what if you know there's a few things that you know in the schmodown and one of them is that mike kalinowski knows jay I will say this though, when they gave you guys romance, you guys could have been dead in the water because that's actually, isn't that what foils do with Guy? That's well, I, yeah, that, I think it was uh, rom coms maybe, yeah. but yeah, I mean, that's the slice that we hit. We chose not to keep it because we knew we had to go for a big swing, but yeah, I when when, the, when we got that category, it's like we could be this could be a, a knockout, and I honestly like I give credit. John was the one that came up with that five point question that kept us from the absolute KO that did not take us out of this game before round three. Yep. You deserve credit for that answer. You, much like our last game, John came up with the five pointer that kept us in the game. Uh, we are a team in every sense of the word. And John, I see you beating yourself up over here. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, it was a tough first round. You know, I didn't show up as hard as I would like. Uh, and, you know, yeah, Kalinowski. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kalinowski was a buzzsaw. Um, I like that he's taking a page from Ben Bateman's book and delaying to answer and acting like yeah, he Yeah, you two no, were exchanging I, I those barbs I mean, in the first you know, round. He used to cry about Bateman. Now he's Bateman. So there you go. Bateman's back in the backs with the horseman. You see Kalinowski being the new Bateman. So, you know, that's nice for him. Um, but for me, I, personally, I just didn't show up and I let my teammate down. And I did get some of those romance answers uh, uh, correct. And uh, I helped us get the five-pointer for sure. But, you know, I also blew the Navy question. And I blew Kyle Reese. And I blew Governor Rex. Cliff and I blew a couple other questions that just didn't work for me at horror. I, horror is just my blind spot. No matter what I do, it's just not a genre I run to. So um, I'm sorry I let my team down. I'm sorry I let uh, uh, the horseman down. Um, and uh, we'll see where we go from here, to be honest with you. I know he's got that number one contender shot, but I put no pressure on Dan. My greed for titles does not overcome my respect for Dan, and Dan is going to make the decision with that when he has the chance. But for me, I, I just got to go back in the, in the, in the room and maybe uh, figure out if I'm going to keep going or not and, and do some more studying. If that I is right, though, Dan. You do have that title shot. I do. Uh, but again, John didn't let anybody down. It would have been a KO if he hadn't been sitting at the table with me. That's I just want to get that off the table right now. Uh, secondly, um, yeah, I do. Uh, I, I, have, I have time, though. I have the luxury of time with this thing. I still have a few months to cash it in, and I think what you have with that time is now the sing the team's title picture is much clearer. We know who's going to be fighting for it, and I think it's not just uh, – that I use that shot, but you have to strategically. We just strategically decide when we use it. Uh, you know, if corruption goes on to win, do we want to challenge them for a third time? Are we hoping that maybe in a best of three scenario that we can come out that third time, or do we want to see uh, if they get beat? Do we need to take on the team that beats them? Like, there's so many different things that go into it. Um, I also have, you know, there's a lot of things, singles. I don't know what's going to happen with singles. Uh, but uh, I love playing with John. He would not let anybody down today. Like I said, we'd be, we would have been KO'd if it wasn't for him. And uh, right now, uh, I'm just focused on uh, this game and, uh, and my teammate. And we'll see what happens from here. 
Let me speak for the horsemen as well here when I look at my partner in this faction, John Roca. You didn't let anybody down. You didn't let the horsemen down. All right, look at what that score is. These guys came back in a big way when their backs were against the wall. Again, with romance, these guys are true champions. They're going to be back. The horsemen are stronger than ever. This is just something that we have to deal with. I always say, in the showdown, you have to be okay with losing. Dust yourself off and get back up, and I know John Roca can do that. Exactly. Well said. We'll get a promo out of you next time. Next time. <laughs> but, Dan, if you use that number one contender spot, my vote is yes. Let's take on whoever the hell wins that damn thing. But good God luck to Corruption. Right. They beat us twice. Can't say nothing against that. No controversy this time, so at least I can go home, beat myself up, and wake up the next morning not thinking we got something stole from us. That's a positive. Oh. Yeah. Thanks All's so much, fair guys. love and war. What he said. And we are back with Corruption. Guys, that was an absolutely dominant performance out there. you got to be feeling pretty good about that. Jennifer, we are. Ken. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Always fun to be here talking with you. The Founding Fathers, great part of the pillars of this league. A lot of accomplishments. A lot of them in the past. Corruption, we, we've struggled. We struggled. We know it. But that's in the past. One of the great voices in the history of rock and roll, Jeanette Napolitano, once sang, Don't worry, honey. Don't look back. The past is past. Let it fade to black. We're dealing with champions here. That's what we've always known we are. It's just a matter of putting it down on paper for all of you to believe what we know deep down inside, and we're going to be champions. Grace, I saw you enjoying that off to the sidelines. You've got to be feeling pretty good about this as well. Yeah, you know, I'm feeling great. I told, I, this is exactly what, again, I said what happened, and it did. And look, Roka, there's no shame in retirement. There's a time and a place, honey. You're going to be just fine. I mean, we were one question away from tying the record of all time. I mean, these guys are champions. That's what I said, and that's what happened. No surprises. And Mike Kalinowski, oh my God. I mean... I think a lot of people after last season, they really saw you mostly as an IG player, but between your performance in singles lately and now this this team, wow. It's been, you've been playing lights out. Here's the thing. You know, people, you think they, they look at me as an uh, Intergeekton player. No, people don't even think of me as a player. You all doubted me. I set out last year to take that Intergeekton title and I got it. And what did I say this year? What I'm going to do, you think I'm just studying Intergeekton stuff like this? No, I'm studying everything. I told you what I was going to do. Every time I open my mouth to say what I'm going to do, it happens. Don't doubt me with your polls and all this crap, but keep on, you know what, you want to do that? Fine, it makes me a better player. Look where I am, a perfect game against two Titans in this. You talk about the, the Mount Rushmore with those guys, like, yeah, they're great guys, but it's time to take a demo charge to that Mount Rushmore and blow it down. I'm taking those team titles, I'm going to take my inner geekdom title, and we're going to get this guy's singles title here. We're going to have all the belts at the end of this. You see what happens when you doubt me. Keep doubting me. That's right, Chance, you know, should you guys win this, this team titles, you would be the youngest person to ever hold a belt. That's got to be blowing your mind right now. Oh, it is always great to be the one that makes history. I am I am so pumped. I'm so ready to go into that team title match. And there's nobody I'd rather go into battle with. I just want to say something about thinking about Chance here. You know, Bond came up. I did well. This guy knew three of those that he told me. So this guy, he's got my back. It's not just, hey, if I get Bond, I'm taking it. This guy knows it too. I got your back, baby. So obviously now, Mike, you guys are going to be going up against the Shire Wolves. Took the title back. And I know that this match has extra meaning to you because it's a chance to take a title off Rachel Cushing. What's the gravity of this for you? I don't take Rachel lightly. She is a, she she to me is the greatest competitor in this league. All three leagues she can handle. Uh, but here's the thing: this isn't her just alone out there. It's in her geekdom, she is a force to be reckoned with. And this team's, you know, she relies on her partner. And, you know, whether it's a like with Chance here, I've got the strongest partner in the game. He's got my back. He's be there for each other. So we're gonna see how strong they are. They've lost. You know, they've had that loss. They went on that win. You know, they had that great streak, but now they've lost. We've seen the chink in their armor, and we know what happens to people when they lose, and it shakes their confidence. You know, people make fun of me, and you know, oh, you couldn't hold your, your belt, this and that. I know what it's like to lose. Losing makes you a better competitor. Back to you guys. Okay, Christian, we have a lot to digest with that post-game interview, but we want to remind everyone watching once again about the Skilly World app. It's a really cool trivia app you can download right now. Apple, you can uh, go to Apple and download the app there, or you can go to skillyworld.com. And while we're telling you about it, the movie Mastermind Challenge is up right now. It's going to be July 17th is when you're going to be competing. 9.30 p.m. for the East Coasters. $3,000 is on the line. Show your movie trivia know-how. It's just true or false questions. True Christian. or false Our questions. Fans knock that out of the park. And you know you were answering questions along here today. Go do it there and try to win $3,000. True 
or false. That's it. Win three thousand dollars if you fly out here for one of our live matches. You can take us to lunch today. You, you know, you don't even have to. You keep the three grand. You earned it. Go to skillyworld.com. Follow them online at Skilly world it's going to be an exciting thing for our fans and then when you talk about what the carnage that was after the match here today right. what's your take well i mean look i think that what's what came across here is that normally corruption who is loud mouth and taking shots at their opponents even though they had a pretty dominating game had a lot of respect for the founding fathers more um, classy than we've seen them that's right and then because of the fact that this is the first time that chance ellison now has a title shot Mike Kalinowski has his first title shot outside of the Inner Geekdom division. This is a huge, huge thing. So they obviously talked a lot about the Shire Wolves. The fact that the Shire Wolves took those championships back, and now this is one more time that Mike Kalinowski gets to play Rachel Cushing for a championship. So the story is there once again. That's right, and you are going to get to witness all of that right here in the movie trivia showdown. And you guys, if you're in the San Diego area, you can catch us at Comic-Con. Saturday night is the big match. Okay, your tickets right now at showdownlive.com. I'll be doing some stand-up Thursday night down there at Comic-Con American Comedy Company. Well, the other thing, though, too, Mark, that I don't want to forget about is that Dan Merle said it. They still have that title shot from the free-for-all. The Founding Fathers right? still have that title shot. So when do so you use it? If I'm the Founding Fathers, yeah. I wait for I wait to see if corruption can take those championships. And if they do, oh, I, you go rematch? I cash in and I try to... Because, it, look, they got them 2, no, two nothing right now. They yeah. got two nothing. That, that if you have that shot to get to them, and you don't have to build yourself up, you could, and corruption can take those titles. You cash in. You play. You play them for those titles. That's all. That's what I would guess. That's that's your strategy. We'll see how founding fathers want to take it. We'll see if corruption can live up to the promise that they certainly showed here today. Uh, good match, partner. Great match, and congratulations to Corruption, and congratulations to all of you guys for this. This is what a match this was, and <laughs> when, you're welcome, is what you're saying. Well, you're welcome Father, for all the entertainment. The Founding we Fathers, I thought, put up a hell of a fight at the end and showed the kind of competitors they are. Yeah. And you guys, thank you so much for joining us here today. Make sure you join us over on Patreon. Go to the Facebook group. Check out the Schmodown Rundown. It's every Saturday on this channel, and you can also find it on the Apple Podcast. Thank you to Himalaya. Download this show, listen to it, quiz yourself on the road or at the gym. It's a lot of fun. And Schmodown Class. Classic is another one, too. You can find all the seasons from before. You're brand new to this thing? Well, season one, season two, season three, and four will be up soon. Go to Schmodown Classic. For Mark Ellis, I'm Christian Arloff. See you next time. Everything he said is true. Miss Five. Robert. How are you? You know, I've been better, but uh, hanging in there. What are you doing? I'm your boss Yes, I, I'm, I'm aware. I'm the new commissioner. Yeah, I got that. You know, I wanted to talk about how you've been handling things here at the Schmodown. I, I just think what you've been doing is, quite frankly, terrible. Terrible? Well, wow. you know, thank you so much for that, uh, Robert. I just, you know, manage a whole Patreon, do a lot of community management, have opened up a Discord, so we have a lot of really good fan interaction. No, 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 no. that's fine. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about acknowledging the greatness of the people that deserve it. There have been people that you have not acknowledged, that you have not admitted to just how wonderful they are for this league. I don't think that's part of my job as commissioner. Oh, yes, it is. You, things are going to change, and let me tell you, I'm going to lead by example, and I'm going to show you why you need to acknowledge teams such as family. Shocker. Didn't see that one coming. Um, well, you would have if you had, had acknowledged them in the past, which you, of course, have not done. Once again, pretty sure that's not You my realize job. I have the power to fire you. You realize I am your boss, and if I wanted, you'd be gone. Uh, okay. Uh, then fire me. Is that what your plan is? I just, you know, it's only for a month, so... We'll see about that. Okay, great. Only for a moment. Great. So you just, you know, you let me know. I'll stay in touch. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, man. Corruption, baby. Family fathers are a great team. But I knew my boys Chance Kownowski would take care of business.
great win, but that was a fucking fantastic match. Roken, Merle, man, you guys are legends of the game. You had a great comeback. Just fell short for you. But now, Corruption moves on to face the Shirewolves. Now again, Chance, Mike, I fuck with you guys big time. But the Shire Wolves, that must that's my squad. That's who I I will always root for. So I wish you the best of luck. But I'm be riding with the Shire Wolves. But I can't wait. That match, that's gonna be one hot ticket. If you like my reactions, oh Robert Meyer Burnett. I can't wait to see what you're going to do for the next month. That's going to be very interesting to see. <coughs> if you like my reactions, you, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Christopher Woodburn. You can find me on Twitter, Chris Woodburn 83 Facebook, Christopher Michael Woodburn. So until next time, it's your boy C-Dub. Peace.